This month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm off today to have a mammogram. Last year, we did a film on how to check your breasts. So if you're not yet of an age where you're offered one by the NHS, which is I think between 50 and 53, then it's so important to learn how to check your breasts properly. Well, mammograms to some people can be quite nerve wracking and some people even put them off because they just don't like the idea of going to a hospital and having it done. But we're going to go through the whole process today so you can see what it's like, see that there's really nothing to fear. I'm here with Una, who's a registered specialist nurse, and she has got taken the time to answer some questions. My mother had breast cancer, but post 60. So there's a big difference between breast cancer in your family, pre-menopause and post-menopause, is there? Is there? There is. The most common time to get breast cancer is when you're post-menopausal. So Why? usually because of hormonal changes and because we're exposed to more environmental changes, if you like, yeah. and as we get older, yeah. we're more prone to getting illness, if you like. Mm -hmm. So within this breast unit, we see about 300 breast cancers a year. Mm -hmm. With our screening, you can self-refer for a mammogram over the age of 40. If you okay. have a symptom, yeah. you have to do that through a doctor. Um, Una, thank you very much for answering some of these questions. All right, let me go off now and have a mammogram. Okay. So, my name's Jane. I'm one of the radio officers here. Yes. Is this yeah. your date? Yes, it is. And is this your home address? Yes, it is. Perfect. Fantastic. Good. And how long would this appointment kind of take? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. It's like in and out, wham, bam, your mam, and Jane's like constant. <laughs> so, this doesn't change very much from year to year. Yeah. Always when we do mammography, we will x ray both breasts. Yeah. Routinely, we will start with four films, two of each breast, mm -hmm. in a slightly different position. Yeah. Sometimes we do extra pictures and that's not seen, so it doesn't mean I've seen anything terrible, but it's just to make sure we cover everything. Let's do it! Let's do it! So always when we do mammography, we yeah. will x-ray both breasts. Yeah. I promise not to press harder than I have to. Yeah. So the compression is quite a, an important part of, of doing the mammography. Turn your face, oh sorry, turn your face towards me, lean into your shoulder. Okay, so the compression, very slowly. Done. You okay there? So fine. Good. Okay. So now I'm going to go and take the film. I think probably because my breasts are older and more floppy, so they can <laughs> squidge into anything really. Okay now, will you take a little breath in for me? Hold your breath there, really still. Good. Breathe normally. Well done. First one. Good. She's really moving my body exactly in the right position. You know position. when you're in the hands of an expert. <laughs> Hold your breath there. Good, breathe normally. Okay, so the next two films, the same idea. These films will show up underneath your arm, yeah. and we lean you into the machine yeah. to make sure that we include the axilla, yeah. because that's really important. I think a lot of women think breast tissue is just here, uh -uh. but you're saying here, this uh, is all. This here, up here, this is called your axillary tail, yeah. and the breast tissue extends here. Again, women different shapes and sizes, yeah. but you have to make sure that you've included this area. Machine, I'll just move your feet a fraction. Good. Good. Breathe normally. Uh, even if your breasts are bigger, you might feel a squidge. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, nothing. I don't think anyone goes to you squeals like a. Absolutely doesn't. Some ladies come through and they're absolutely terrified because they've heard such horror stories. Of, had a terrible mammogram. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like that no. at all. So. We very often say to ladies, well, let's give it a go and see yeah. how you go. Yeah. Um, and then they'll go, well, that looks like that. Yeah. Good, breathe normally. Well done, there we are. Is that the moon? <laughs> no, it's my breast on the arm, on the mammogram. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is, with younger women, the breast tissue is denser. It's, mm -hmm. it's more firm tissue, it's glandular yeah. tissue. Yeah. And that tends to be lighter on a mammogram. Yeah. This is fatty tissue, so okay. as you get older, it's called involution, the breast changes from glandular breast tissue to fatty tissue. Mm -hmm. This is much easier to see through yeah. than this. Yeah. So with younger women, very often the consultant will suggest ultrasound so because it complements the mammogram. So the contrast is not so good. Absolutely. Yeah. Jane, as ever, a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. As ever. Lovely to a see you. A painless pleasure with Jane. <laughs> I'm going to get these images looked at and okay. we'll go from here. So, had the mammogram, that was just 
fantastic. Jane, who I've actually had do quite a few of my mammograms, is utterly brilliant. So I'm waiting for an ultrasound now, which I never normally would need, but I'm just going to show you both of them because on some, as Jane had mentioned, on some younger breasts, which are denser, sometimes an ultrasound is helpful. So I don't normally have an ultrasound because I think everything is clear from the um, mammogram. But what we thought we'd do, this is Helena, and we thought that we would just go through the process. So if anyone is scared about what an ultrasound um, what it means to have an ultrasound, you can just see the process. I'm Dr. Rahim, I'm one of the radiologists. Nice Great. to meet you. So what we're gonna do is just an ultrasound scan. Yeah. yeah. So this is just a little bit of jelly, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Okay. Um, and basically this stops the eyes and drops the teeth. It makes your whole screening process more complete. Yes. Just we're looking at the same breast tissue, but we're looking at it in a different way, so it just gives us a bit more Perfect. information. I just want to think of all the reasons why some people are scared, miss their appointments, don't come and don't look after their body. One of them is radiation, yes. because I know for me it wouldn't encounter, but some women might think radiation. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to us, the audience, when we talk about radiation levels and having mammograms, what that really means? So the radiation dose of a mammogram is very low. We actually come across radiation on a daily basis because in the background environment there is radiation. Okay. For those of your followers who um, fly regularly, mm -hmm. um, there is ionizing radiation from flying on an airplane. Yeah. Background radiation, as I've mentioned, that can vary from different parts of the country even. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing that we're not already exposed to. Okay. However, when you have a mammogram clearly, um, or any other test that uses x-rays, there is um, a, an increased dose in a shorter amount of time, and that's what might Great. frighten people. Yeah. But actually, it is a very, very low dose. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason we do mammograms from the age of 40 onwards mm -hmm. is we always think about the risk versus benefit. So the benefit of having that mammogram versus the risk of the radiation. Yeah. And from that point of view, that's why we use the EA for 40, because we want the benefit of being able to see your breast tissue clearly enough that it's a good test yeah. versus the, the risk radiation if you had dose. 40 in your life as opposed to less in your life. Yes, yeah, so screening, yeah. yes, from having regular screening. And also, there is no point doing a test which isn't going to be helpful because we can't interpret it because the breasts are too dense, which yeah. is perhaps what happens when you're much younger. So therefore, mm -hmm. there is no reason to do that test if we're not really going to be able to see that much yeah. on it. And so therefore, not expose you to that radiation. Is it ever not relevant to have a memory? That's a really good question, actually. Mm -hmm. And the answer to that is the incidence of breast cancer does not reduce. Mm -hmm. Um, there are some types of breast cancer which may not, for example, in a lady who is much, much older, have as so, negative an impact, yeah. say, than in somebody who was much younger, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I think if the lady is fit and well and willing to go for their mammograms yeah. and have those investigations, then all of those things can be considered <coughs> if there is a diagnosis mm -hmm. and therefore management can be made appropriate for that patient. Yeah. So you're just going to feel a little bit of, um, you feel the stickiness of the jelly, Luckily, it's not cold, and you're just going to feel a little bit of pressure while I take some images. I'm going to take images as I go along, yeah. and that's uh, because I like to keep um, a log of what I'm seeing. It's not necessarily because I'm seeing anything of concern, it's so that we yeah, can keep... that's fine. Here with our lovely radiologist, we've learned so much from you today, and the whole team, and the results back. Yes, so I'm pleased to tell you that your mammograms were absolutely fine, and your ultrasound, that I don't think there's been any significant change in comparison to your previous, because it's always important for us to have a look at your previous yeah. imaging before we give you your results. Um, so I'm very happy about that. We've discussed a couple of things I think we need to follow up on. Yeah. And um, so I'd be grateful if, if that was okay. So I'm glad you went through the experience with us, just to show that it is so important that when you get that card from the NHS, not to worry. We tried to show you today that there's nothing really to worry about to have a mammogram and to have an ultrasound. And it's so much better to be safe and to be proactive on looking after our breasts. Thank you.